Hey, what's up, guys? Warlock's Bull back here, and today we saw that Razo Priest grind. Getting very close to that 500 wins. Uh, I know we won't be able to do it this. Uh, I don't know what I, I want to call it, like this week, the series, whatever the fuck. Um, but we will hopefully be hitting it maybe by the summer. It would be, it'd be really cool. I'd be I'd, I'd be happy to have the Golden Hero portrait. But uh, yeah, anyways, without further ado, I think it's uh, time to hop into the first game, right, guys? I'll see y'all there. So our first matchup is against Priest. Interesting. So my guess is it's just big. So because it's probably big, just hard mill everything. And I was gonna say hopefully we draw Raza, but none of these cards are Raza. Raza and Anwin are the best cards to draw. One hundred percent. Who says arguably the worst card to draw? Anyways, um. So I, I guess the first thing I should talk about is actually kind of big in Hearthstone news. Um. The base set, classic set, rather like the new set, whatever the fuck it's called, has officially been announced. Um, and the whole set was revealed. I will be talking about it more on stream. Um, just as I haven't really put together my thoughts on it yet. Uh, like I've read all the cards, that's kind of it though. So I wanna I wanna do I wanna think about it a little bit more before i make any claims also in this matchup just don't punch me in the face it's kind of a uh, fairly easy rule to follow there is kind of weak raise that is also kind of weak that's a goodie and so now all we're looking for is uh anduin anduin says we won the game eventually actually anduin says we kind of won the game fast not gonna lie Bomberies is a really good card. I don't know why he didn't summon that last turn, but interesting. Um, after seeing what deck we're against, uh, it would have actually been smart to keep Elusia. Um, Elusia is a really, really good card in this matchup and just in general uh, against control decks. Just because, like, my Ice Slam. That's really unlucky. That's really high roll. I want to take this to be safe. Yeah, I can take that to be safe. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, I should have probably. I sh I want to play raise that the same turn I play penance. I think. But to be fair, raise that would have actually been really solid there. I really need a hard draw here, I think. That hurts, but... Not that yet. Uh, this really sucks, the fact that I have to give him double Vargoth for a turn. That actually really fucking sucks. Uh... And he has a sh second Shadow Essence. That's even worse. Yeah, that's so fucking bad for me. And when or Psychic Scream are the only good draws here. I, I mean, to be fair, that's actually pretty solid as well. Not gonna lie. Um. That was one of the mains I didn't want to survive. I actually wanted one of the Vargoths to survive. This way Potion would have been really good, where I could have Potion one and then hopefully he'd cast Mass... Uh, mass Hysteria a second time, which would have wiped. But hey. Slam this next turn looking for a 5-drop. I'm not just dead here. 24? That's a lot of fucking damage. Or 16, 17, 18, 19. I need to slam this here, kinda. Don't know if I could win here. 
I kind of just got dicked. Plus, maybe I topped a psychic stream. You got another Vargos? I need some this here. Yeah. It sucks that I have to lose this. It sucks so fucking bad. Ah. Uh. Because he just hits here, he slams re raw rag number two. Or he reses rag number two within the second eternal servitude, and I'm just dead. Oh, that's also a way to kill me. Uh, it's a really high roll for him. We got cocked with our draw again. Fucking Christ, man. We put six cards at the bottom of our deck and it didn't matter. Oh, this is summoning a rag, huh? Oh well. Pretty sure I was just dead there. He got really lucky that game. Man. I'm trying to get less and less bitter of outcomes I can't control. But I feel like he got insanely lucky that game with... Yeah. Double eternal service. Or double uh, shadow essence. It's like really good for him. And then RNG in this spell that gives a mini divine shield and some's a, so a copy of it. It's also really good for him. Um, but anyways, whatever. Uh, let's just give the next one and hopefully it goes better. All right, guys, I'll see y'all there. So I queued into another matchup that's near impossible to win. That's fucking fun. I have to keep all this. I can only win by slamming Lore Keeper on Curve. And if he's any form of aggro, this hand is not good enough to win. Basically, just need to have Reno 1 6, is kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, man. At least that's a fairly good card. Uh, uh, Gluttonous Use is a card we just need to draw, though. You can't smell. Because it's mill, we want to keep very, very few cards in our hand so we don't lose any to uh, what's its face. Basically, when we summon this, we need to make sure that we have at least five spots at hand. So we can draw Massa Stereo, Rosla, Reno, Psychic Stream, Shadow, uh, Anduin. So that's the worst case scenario, right? And even. S uh, basically, we want to have all these cards in hand before he can start milling us. So this card's going to be insane. Because that's one, two, three, four cards out of. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I guess there's a plenty of other minions, but it still, like, has a high chance at high rolling type shit. We're not worried about dying to his mill you out combo because it's, like, probably, like, around 10, 10, 11. And with a decent enough hand, we can kill him on turn, like, or turn 9-ish. So. That's... Perfect draw. If that was um, corrupted, that would have been insane. Because now, like, we slam this on five. As long as we have one spot in hand, we're guaranteed draw Anduin. And then we draw Anduin, and anything else we burn is kind of fine. I don't think I'm playing the deck you want to be. Oh, Alusia is also huge. Such a good draw. Are you trying to burn me already? I can't replay that. Which is good for me. Um, I can't even slam this just to get it out of my hand, so my play here is just slam lash, I think. Hmm, I can slam this here to prevent him from doing that, actually. Is that worth it? 
So next time, my guess is he's slamming double cold light. That's my guess. So if I do this, I slow him down for a turn, which I really, really like. And maybe he has other cards I could burn. Uh, he actually does have other cards I can burn. Um... Yeah, that's fine. I guess I should probably play this. I didn't want to give him that prize vendor. Mostly what happens is he just doesn't play anything in my hand and I burn one card. Hopefully it's not Anduin. But... He plays a card that's the best case... Oh... I just hope I don't burn Anduin. That's the main thing. Burning Anduin would fucking suck. He should know what my secret is, so... He should know that a 10 cost is probably the worst one for me, as it takes me forever to get out of my hand. This hand, though, is really fucking bad for me. I can't even send Lorekeeper next to him, because he has a sap. Hmm. Very interesting. I maybe not even have wanted to slam this. I just wanted to slam that to get it out of his hand, to prevent him from doing bullshit with it. If I burn Ando in here, I'll be actually upset. Is it one from a game that I don't think I could lose to a game that I think I instantly lose? Because of one thing? And win. Hmm. I need to slam this. Yeah, I need to slam that here. It gets sapped, which really fucking sucks. And I burn another card. There's just two cards I don't want to burn. I actually burn two cards here, I think. He mostly plays prize, sap to kill this, and then I burn a card on my draw. Or he goes to burn two cards, which would be stop and then... Kind of is trying to display the cards that because I know what cards are in his hand and it's trying to display them. That's funny. I, I I hope you guys can see it and I'm not just stripping. I think you guys can actually see it. Okay. So he's going to hopefully burn me and do it by sapping this. He doesn't sap that. That's how was the play there not? Oh, I guess he knows I have this in hand, so he wants to sap this. Don't burn Anduin. Ooh. Um. I don't want to draw a card, strangely enough. I'm so not used to playing it in that order, but I really don't want to draw a card here. Um, hopefully he leaves this up. Because if he leaves this up, I slam this and I instantly draw the, um... And, doing, and then I'll hopefully have two slots left in hand, which will mean that I'm able to also draw the spawn. This is actually such an interesting game, because normally in this matchup, um, I don't have Raza this early, so I have to play around drawing two cards. But now I only have to play around drawing one, and I kind of, if I'm about to draw a card in the same turn, I have that instant draw effect with Lorekeeper. So it's actually very, very interesting. But I don't want to draw too many cards. Because I, if I draw too many cards, I get equally as fucked. And it's very weird. Okay, that's fine. Templar is actually such a big draw. So now all I want to actually see is Shadow Reaper Anduin and spawn in this off. That's what I want to see personally. Okay. I mean, if I draw Shadow Reaper Anduin here... Fuck, he actually killed it. I need to play as many cards as possible. It's annoying that this is fives. That's a lot of mana to sink into a card. But... Hmm. This one's actually very interesting and hard to play. Ah. Uh. Oh. This 
This should say here I win the game. So I don't care about anything else I burn. I can burn the rest of my deck here. I'm pretty sure I have lethal with a combination of this, this, and this. Especially on this board. Also, I mean, I have a Lucia, so I'm not to take control of his turn and shit. Or I can take control of his hand to prevent him from playing uh, cards that would fuck me. It's very, very interesting. Ugh. You know, as well, I mean, this is 10 damage on the board. He's at 27. I slammed this. He's at 25. He's forced to prevent me from targeting him next. Seance would actually be an insane draw here. Because being able to seance this, if it's on his side of the board, is huge. But yeah, I think... Fuck, this game is actually super hard to call. It's like kind of like right down the center. My opponent just won AFK. He's still holding a Togwaggle Scheme since the start of the game. So that's like roughly seven cards shuffling in. Um... Yeah. Well, our opponent's AFK. Well, that's not the right card. That's not the right card either. That was almost really fucking bad. Well, I mean... Yeah, and I feel with this hand... If he doesn't prevent himself from getting targeted next turn, he loses. And if he does, I slam a Lucia. But I try to like burn as many cards in his hand as possible. Give him things like Lorekeeper, but... He actually just went AFK because he realized he lost. I hate it when people do that. It's actually like the my least favorite thing that people do. Like, you either just concede or don't make me just waste my time. Uh, I mean, at least we won. I think I'm actually... My win rates are completely wrong here. Yeah, I missed a whole bunch of losses yesterday because I was super tilted. We're 20 and 14 now. Which is nice. I mean, we're still up six games, so I guess I can't theoretically complain. But I mean, I would have preferred uh, to not have dropped a whole bunch of games yesterday. Hunter is such an awful matchup for this deck, in my opinion. Actually, one of like the worst matchups. Okay. I don't think Elusia is good. I possibly wanted to keep Kazakus. But I'm thinking that this is just that mech deck, so Zephyrus is just huge. And especially now that I have Seance, it's huge. It's really big if I can take control of his Obliteron or whatever the fuck it's called. And then he can never get the Death Rattle back, especially if I kill on my side. So, like, yeah. And since it didn't change the odd, I have a high, I have a strong feeling that it is the Obliditron, whatever the fuck the deck is called, deck. Uh, right now I'm hoping to draw Raza. Raza, Pollock, Anduin, Ish oh, and Reno, and Psychic Scream, they're all cards you're looking for in this matchup. I wish that there was more cards that shuffled shit into your opponent's deck. Honestly, I think it's one of the coolest mechanics. I'm kind of sad that there is none. That's actually super clean for me. It would have been better if it was just Huffer, so I didn't have to show that I had this in hand. But this card can combo super well with other cards in my hand, like Coin. That's fine, I think. I can always do this into Flare to draw a card, but... I want to save this in case it is the Obliteron deck. Because I already that it's 2, 5, 7, 8 mana. Wait, 2, 5, 7 mana. Um, To take it with... uh, What's it called? But now Flare here is super tempting.
player here with super tendons it's so much value but i think i wait one more turn is the thing also i mean it can also just get me hex which is really good okay i just go for flare here flare is like super good and i still have the seance to get something else so Yeah, like that is actually an insane amount of value but i need to get this back there's no doubt in my mind that this card is way too important in every hunter matchup to just put like leave on the battlefield like this even though it was super tempted to slam this um it's better i think just to be holding on to this okay yeah, that's fine I won't trigger the secrets he has now, so I don't have to trigger them later. And I guess I, I kind of fucked that up, huh? Ooh, I did not account for math. That's actually really bad. I want to hold on to the coin for as long as possible. Uh, it feels a little bad, not gonna lie. I went for the chosen there because it's just like really insane here. So this is just death or pain. Here I'm going for a 5 cost to get poly. Seven armor I guess is fine. No oh, poly, really? Right right the freezing? Freezing kind of sucks there, but again, it's fine. I think because we have the Zephyrus to get Polly, we're like a fairly decent spot. Okay, we have Potion here. Just Potion to trade into there. And we slam this, I guess. Okay, we're fine. I mean, right now we have like a fairly strong board. We have a really insane hand against whatever the fuck he wants to do. Um, yeah, I mean, we have this to get a poly and we have, or a hex and this to shuffle shit back into his deck. And we just drew Raza for turn, so. I mean, I could not really be that much happier than I am right now, especially with how this, yeah, this game's going like really well. But we know it is the, that weird combo deck, the, um, I forgot what people call it, the loop or whatever, not floop. I have, I do not remember what people have been calling it, but that, that deck has a name. He's running a very heavy secret variant that I've never seen before. Um, I mean, I would never mind having more of this guy. His weakness. Uh, I mean, I can just hold on to this. I doubt he's playing a card like fucking, uh, no, I pulled Light Oracle on that list. How many secrets is in this man's deck? He's played so many. He's actually played so many fucking secrets. This is huge, actually, here. Ooh. Did not take that into account. Oh, this doesn't die here. Once I get really lucky. This is the highest odds of not losing a single minion. The highest odds is 2-2, right? Wow, that was worst case scenario because this would have killed it if it ever hit it. So it's actually on average 1-1. One, one. 
was right, was 50%, 50%. That was just suit. That was like the highest roll he could have hoped for. Hmm, interesting. It's gonna be just trade slam Anduin. Actually, three damage is more than two to the dome. So. Well, do I have lethal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I have lethal. Oh, nice. He's playing a weird list. He's not playing the combo, I don't think. Uh, with the Obliteratron and the, the tank thing. I don't think he's playing that combo. So that's why he's like running like Sylvanas instead. Yeah. Weird deck, but if it, if he's having fun with it, I mean, good for him. Uh, But yeah, that's actually a deck I kind of want to try, which is the, the actual combo variant of that deck. Seems like a good meme, but uh, hey, anyways. Next game. Ah, Secret Mage. You're bound to hit these every so often, right? Even though it sucks and no one likes playing against the deck, you're bound to hit one every so often. Speaking of so often, this hand's actually fairly good and better than average, I feel. I really like Sphere going on turn on turn one. Um, I mean, that, that should be obvious. It's actually an insane turn one play. But, um, like, comparison to other a lot of other cards, um, or a lot of other turns, this card is, it gets weaker the game goes on until your Anduin, in which case it's a one mana extra hero power. Um, but yeah, it's like, turn one it's insane, and then after that it's like, fairly weak in my opinion. I like some of that not necessarily corrupted. Yes, it's insane corrupted, but this deck has very few cards that can actually corrupt it, uh, like, proactively. Right, you have, like, palm readings... Uh, Kazakis, Lorekeeper, Raza, Anduin. It's the only, those are the only realistic, proactive cards that actually answers that card. This card's actually pretty solid here as well. I want to slam this, but it just trades into it, and I'm very sad. Um, I feel like next turn it's probably just Kazakis. Yeah, it kind of has to be just Kazakis. Breath is fairly good. Yeah, I'll take it. I'm just gonna go for a five cost here. Uh, one cost actually. Heal two to everything. Gain four is fine. Explosive runes. Oh no, rigged fair. Rigged unfair games. That's actually fairly good for me. Um, kinda. Weirdly enough. Um, because I know he can't play one for like the next like two three turns. Or he's gonna burn like half the cards in his hand, right? It's also kind of awkward because again, that deck also has a couple cards that are like, yes, it has like super proactive cards like this, but also has a, a fair amount of cards that are just not proactive whatsoever. That's really bad for me, actually. The fact that he actually had both of these. Okay, I'm a different card. That one's a little weak. We beta test with us. We force a two mana to ping this if it survives. Like we're forcing him to spend two mana here to kill this. Yeah, that's actually one of the weaker minions he could have got, so I'm fine with that. Uh, I need to hit Raza very soon. Like you're really, really soon. Because that can get um Death Grasp. The, the Lich King card, which is super bad for me. Got that. Any burn spell would be insane. Alusia is the worst card in this matchup, actually. Or one of the worst cards in this matchup. I really like this card here. That just wipes the board, kinda. 
I mean, the, the, the penance helps there, but the problem right now is that I have three cards in hand to his seven, and I'm the control deck. I'm not in a good spot, kind of whatsoever. But Zephyrus here is really, could be like really huge. Depending on what he does. If there's nothing on board, Zephyrus is huge. This guarantees me a five drop. I think this is going to be Chaos Nova. That really sucks. Lorekeeper is actually fairly good. That's also fairly good for me. Okay. Um, here it's kind of forcing the 4-4 four, four and the 2-2 two, two to hit my 2-6, which I like. So here I might have to lose Zephyrus, which really sucks. I'm at 9, that's super low, but he has no more cards in hand. Which is super good. Draws his insane draw. I mean, I guess that could be Death Coil, which would really suck. Let's do this first. If I survive here, I'm chilling. I have Raza to gain health, plus Zephyrus to gain more health. But I mean, Raza could, I guess. This could get counterspelled. Um, Reno would just be the best drama deck, 100%. Oh, that's so... Is that if they have, oh, he actually RNG the death coil. Oh, I lost to a one and nine. I lost to a one and nine. I legitimately lost her to a one and nine. Death coil is a one and nine to actually get hit. And it's the best one to hit. If he would have hit something like army of the dead, he just had a dead card in his hand for the rest of the game. And yeah, I guess I'm a little and more annoyed because of that one, because I hit army of the dead nine times out of ten or a uh, death and decay i think no what's the other one the one that deals five to uh, or destroy every minion mill cards i swear out of every single lich game i played i swear 90 percent of it were those two cards 10 percent of it or five percent of it was there's that other one that's like super situational who was it there's that that and i'm i forgot what all of them were but Legitimately, I never see the deal five or heal five, or I never fucking see the uh, what's the other one? Deal five, heal five, or the deal three to the board. I never see those, and they're like the two best ones. Oh, anti magic shell is the other one that's like five percent of the time. It's so obnoxious. It's the only reason I hate playing Liching, is because I know I never hit the good cards, but hey, whatever. You win some, you lose some. Secret Mage is still an unfair deck, no matter how you bad your deck is with Roaring Torches. Um, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. We're up to gang. Um, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Uh, I might stream a little bit more this weekend, just because I do really want to hit Legend before the end of the season. And there's like, what, two days left? Three days left? I have no idea, February, this, uh, two days left. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I might stream just to try and hit it. Um... Yeah, anyways, I, I guess I'll just see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, peace.